Hello and welcome back. It's Puzzle Time with Sudoku Sleuth and today we are looking at seven little killers. Now I feel almost certain that we had another puzzle that had a very similar sounding name. I'm actually going to check that out. Little... It was nine steps with little killer cages and we had little criminals. Uh, the reason I was sort of thinking I recognize this is it's not the first time I've had to draw um, kids that are somehow criminal looking. And it's always such a struggle. I mean, especially with this kind of graphic style, um, the best I could do was essentially imagine them as pirates. I guess pirates have kids too, so maybe they are little killers. Or I'm going to start a petition to just change this style of clue name in the Sudoku variant to something nicer than a little killer. But I'm really looking forward to today's puzzle because this puzzle is from none other than Florian Wortman, who has given us so many phenomenal puzzles with the Colorado series. So um, let's take a look at what we have in store today. So we've got Seven Little Killers by Florian Wortman. And a very simple set of rules compared to what we featured yesterday um, with the fog variant. So we have normal Sudoku rules apply. So that means the digits one to nine in every row, in every column, and every three by three box. Now, the last, well, the only variant that we have and the only remaining clue we've got in this very, very empty grid, you know, there are really no clues within it. They're all just outside the grid. The clues outside the grid is the sum of the digits along the indicated diagonal. Normally, this is what you would call a little killer clue. Digits can repeat along the diagonal if allowed by other rules. So, for example, let me pick this Sudoku, uh, this diagonal. What this says is this diagonal with its nine cells, once you sum them all up, they need to add up to 45. And this diagonal here, which is pointed to by this arrow, the sum of these eight cells must sum up to 47. And that's all we have. That's everything Florian has given us to solve this puzzle. Um, if you feel like putting these little killers back in their cages, link will be in the description down below as usual for you to play along. And with that said, I'm going to restart the clock and see how I get on. I should warn you, this is a higher difficulty puzzle, like I mentioned yesterday. There's going to be a few of them this weekend. Right. So I'm going to start with obvious ones, such as this 18. Because the minimum I can put in here is 1, 2, and 3, which is already at 6. Another 6 would be 12. Another 6 would be 18. So they are all 1, 2, 3s. Just, I'm going to just systematically work my way through all of them and just ask myself the question, what if they are all the minimum possible numbers? So the next set of minimums will be four fives, and that would make them 27. We've got four fives and nine. We've got three sets of them. That's 27 plus one plus one, 29. So all of these are minimums as well, not three, four fives, and these two are ones. Is it going to be this easy? No. I was just taking a look at a 28, and the 28 is not as obvious because, so I mean, this would be a 6 is the minimum. That would be 6, that's the minimum. That would be 6, that's the minimum. So that's 18. Oh, it is actually. And then 2, 3, which is not a 5, 2, 3 would be another 5. So that would be 10 plus the 18, that's 28. So these are 6s, and these are, in fact, minimums, 2, 3s. Um, now, let me just quickly tidy up. Yeah, excuse me. Let me just quickly tidy these up, because none of these can be 1, since we've already placed them in the row or column. And... 
I mean, it wouldn't be a Florian puzzle without a bit of colouring, would it? So maybe that's what I should be doing next. This is blue, green, blue, green, blue, green, blue, green. And I don't know what these are. Okay. Um, next clue is 32. And the minimums are fours and fives, which would get me to nine, nine. Nowhere near enough, so it's definitely not this. What about if they're maximums? Eight, nine, eight, nine, that would be 34. I'm not sure I can do much with the 32. Let me color these for a second. Might be the 23 is where I should be looking next, but let me just, before I give up on the 32, let me just color these. So I can only color these two. They don't see these cells. Although that means there is no yellow in here. So yellow is in one of these cells. It's not very helpful. Let me try it differently. If both of these were yellow, That would force a yellow in here. This would be orange. These couldn't be orange, so no. I'd... You can almost color them, almost. Not quite. Let me think, what else? 23 then, maybe? Maybe actually, because you can see, I can see already that all of these are a minimum of fours and fives. Because this actually sees one, two, and three. This sees one, two, and three. So this is in fact a minimum of four and five. Actually, let's do something simple. Sixes, that's the six. Sixes, that's the six again. Now, if I try coloring my fours and fives, I can because I had this inner square that was problematic and it isn't anymore. So for example, that means there are no yellows in here. There is a yellow in there. And therefore this can't be yellow. This is orange, this is yellow. No oranges in there, oranges in here, therefore this has to be a yellow, this has to be an orange. Nice. And then where was I? So these were fours and fives, potentially, and they unfortunately still can be, because I don't have the two colors looking at the same square. I say unfortunately because I am, these can't be fours and fives because we've got yellow and orange looking at them and they can't be sixes either. So this is a minimum of seven and it could be eight or nine. Now let's try that again with a four, five in here. That would be nine and then minimum of 14, 14 and nine is 23. These are sevens, and this is another four nine, and we actually know the colors as well. That's fours and fives. You can see yellow is in none of these, yellow is in here. I can actually see orange is there, because we've got these two orange, eliminating all the other cells, basically. 
I'm guessing I can do something similar with yellows. Yeah, that's yellow. I can't quite do the same with oranges, or at least not yet. Although maybe if I go back to the 32, yeah, because you've got, see, you've got four, five in here. You've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This is a minimum now of eight. So this is eight or nine. Um, and we've got the same setup in here. This is now a minimum of six. I guess it could be seven, eight, or nine, but a minimum of six. Same thing, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This is a minimum of eight or nine. Now we're, now we're talking. These are now starting to look incredibly large. So it's almost a question now is, could this be anything other than fours or fives? And that's almost a question to ask now. So if these are two eights, that's 16 and a six, that's 22. Leaving me room for only a 10 between these two cells. And it can't be one, two, three, so these have to be from fours and fives. Can't be six, can't be seven. If they're eight, I've broken the puzzle. So these are indeed four fives. This has to be orange. This has to be yellow. And now I only have one degree of freedom between these three cells. Because these are different, they're different colors, therefore they are nine. And what I could have is 8 and 9 with a 6, or double 8 with a 6, sorry, with a 7. 6s, sixes, sixes, that is a 6, and therefore that's an 8-9 pair here. So these are actually also, I really am running out of colors again. This keeps on happening with some of the recent puzzles. And I said these have to be different. Yeah. So what is this? This is the other 8, 9. This is the other 8, 9. These are also 8, 9s. Let's have a think about what's going on in here. Replace 4, 5, and 6. We've got the 7 eliminating the square, which is lovely. Now we need a red 8, 9 up here in one of these two cells. A gray 8, 9 in there. And therefore, this is from 1, 2, or 3. Because we've already placed the 8, 9 somewhere between these four cells. We've got another set, another two sets, sorry, three sets of 1, 2, 3. One of them is there. And then the other one is somewhere. The other two are somewhere in here. As in one in this set, one in this set. We can just about color this. Just about. No, we can. We can. We've got this. So, um, this row is missing a, a gray 8, 9 and another 1, 2, 3 that's not blue. Now, I can't put another 1, 2, 3 in here because I've pencil marked all of them. So, this is 8, 9. And that's gray. This is one, two, three. And I'm guessing the same will be true of this column here. There's a lovely symmetry about this puzzle that just helps kind of along this positive diagonal. So as long as you're sort of solving it on one side, you can almost certainly solve it the other way. Yet none of these could be one, two, three in here. So that's got to be the other eight, nine. That's the red eight, nine. And that's another one, two, three. Um, I mean, if the symmetry continues, this would be the one, but we don't actually know that for certain, which is unfortunate. Um, we may have to do a bit of Sudoku now, which is actually quite helpful. That's a dark 8-9. That's a red 8-9. This is a 7 
We very nearly got this diagonal. Very nearly. I feel like we're going to need to do just a little bit more work to figure this out. So I know we've got a 7 in here with an 8, 9. We've got a 7 in there with an 8, 9. Um, we've got a 6 in here. 7. Just doesn't feel like enough information to solve it from here. So we have a 1, a green 2, 3, and a dark 8, 9 in here. We have a blue 2, 3, a 7, and a red 8, 9. We don't have any 8, 9s in here. Actually, I should be able to fill in all of this column. This is 4, 5, 6. Except this is not 6, and therefore this is orange. Because we've got yellow looking at it here. One of these is yellow. Can I do... So this column surely is same in there. Sorry, same this way. Um, almost certainly seven, eight, nine. Yep. So this is four, five, six. That's not six. That's a yellow four, five. Yeah, probably the forty-seven diagonal. We've got so much of it already. It's just only two unknown digits. And forty-seven in eight cells is quite tough because that's an, almost an average of six. And you can see a lot of them, including this one, are under six. So that's probably where I need to be looking next. So let's maximize these. All of these are fives, that's 20. 29 with a three, 32, meaning this is an absolute minimum of 15. And 15 in two cells can only be made of one way, which is six, seven, eight and nines. Now, if these were fours rather than fives, and I've maximized everything else, because I've got four of these, that would have turned the minimum of 15 to a minimum of 19, which is not possible in two cells. So yellow is five. Um, orange is four. These don't have to be 9 and 3, though, if I think about it for a second. Because the maximum I can make these would be 17 rather than 15. And therefore, I can drop these two cells by 2. So I can turn this even into a 1 if I maximize everything else. So if this is 9 and 8, that's 17, 37, and another 9... 46, yeah, this can, unfortunately, can actually be a 1. Incredibly. I mean, these are not 4s, these are not 5s. Can I do much with a 5? Yes, I can. That's another 5. Can I do more with a 4s, then? Yeah, that's a 4. Therefore, that's a six, that's a four. Fives, yep, that's a six, five. Have I done all the fours and fives? I think I have. I've got nine of each now. Look at this. This is a six. And because the minimum was 15, this is maximum, there you go, um, green is now 2, blue is 3, kind of frustrating I color them this way around, but it is what it is, um, 9, or I should say, red is 9, and gray is 8, this is red, 
don't know if I'm going to keep on coloring now. I'm sure I need to take a look at the 45 soon, but can I do anything else? I've got eights, nines, that's nine, that's eight. Can I do anything with the one twos? No, that's not a two, that's not a two. Already sorted out the threes. This is the nine, this is the seven. I need eights and sevens in here. Why don't I actually know what this is? Because I had to place the nine here in this diagonal, which gave me the nine here and the seven. So yeah, the diagonal will probably disambiguate the seven and eight. Um, let me do. I, is that what I should look at next? Probably. Let's just let's just quickly do it. Eight, fourteen, twenty, twenty-seven, thirty-two. Maximum is thirty-four meaning this is 11, or if this was a minimum, 12. 12 would be 9 or 3 not available, 8 or 4 not available, 5 or 7 not available. So this is not 12, this is 11. And if it's 11, that's got to be a 2. 2, 1, 1, 2. And to get to 11, it's either 9, 2, not available, 3, 8 is available, 4, 7, not available, 5, 6, not available. This is 3 or 8. This three tells us the order, that's the eight, that's the three, that's the one, that's the three. Could have got this another way. Um, come on. That's really all the diagonals done, isn't it? So the only thing that's left for me to do is a bit of Sudoku. Ones, well I know one is in here. Means... That's the one. That's the one because we've got one looking at this cell and another one looking at that cell. These, that's all the ones done. I need two now. That's a two looking in there. That's a seven. Neither of these are two, that's the two. I know what this cell is, that's an eight, that's the seven, that's the eight. I should be able to do the seven now. None of these are seven, that's the seven, that's the nine, that's the three. Right, I've got another two somewhere in this box. You know, once you stop coloring, you really do start missing things. That's the nine, I need an eight, it can only be in here, and I need a seven. And that's the solution to today's puzzle. Uh, phenomenal puzzle, puzzle as always, Florian. I mean, we're just used to incredible puzzles from me all the time. And um, I guess true to form, a bit of coloring is needed to actually get through this one. I think now, and I guess you're probably going to stop doing this, but whenever I go into a Florian puzzle, I think I need to do coloring. And that was the solution for sure for today's puzzle. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you liked the video. And see you back for the next one. Bye for now.